Hello students, welcome back to our channel Food Tech Online. So today will be our second class of questionnaire series on Food Technology Gate Life Science Excel. So this will this video will contain important questions plus previous year questions of food technology subject. So let us solve kariye pehle questions ko and then at the end do not forget to comment down your score out of 25. So question number one, which of the following is a function of a food additive? Option A, controlling acidity alkalinity. B, maintaining the nutritive value. C, to maintain product consistency. All of the above. So, which of the following is a food add function of a food additive? Actually, food additives kya hote? Food additives are those substances that is added to food to improve its taste, textures, appearance, and shelf life. So, food additives ke works kya kya hote hai? It enhances the shelf life. It improves and maintains the nutritive values of the food. It controls the acidity, alkalinity, maintain nutritive value as discussed to maintain product consistencies and improves the yield of the product. So these are the functions of food additives. So correct answer will be option number D that is all of the above. Question number two. Enzymes found in liver promotes breakdown of the fat. Uh, which enzyme is uh, found in liver which promotes the breakdown of the fat. Option A, lipoxidase. Option B, lipoxygenase. Option C, lipase. Option D, all of the above. So the enzyme which is found in liver that promotes the breakdown of the fat is the enzyme lipase. Actually, the enzyme is lipase that catalyzes the hydrolysis of fat and it breaks down into fatty acids and glycerols. So my correct answer will be option number C. That is lipase enzyme. Question number three. Which property of hydrogen peroxide makes it the effective preservative? Option A, oxidative. Option B, reductive. Option C, ability to chelate metals. Option D, ability to decrease water activity. Actually, hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen peroxide, it is used as a preservative uh, due to its antimicrobial as well as uh, its oxidizing properties. So, it is used in both the gaseous as well as in uh, the liquid forms for the preservation of the food product. Uh, so, the oxidative, actually my correct option is option number A, that is oxidative property. So, the oxidative property actually hota kya hai ki jase hydrogen peroxide, it is a powerful oxidizing agent. So, ye kya karega, it can readily donate oxygen atom to other compounds resulting in the breakdown of the complex molecules into the simpler ones. So, it leads to the breakdowns of the complex molecules into the simpler ones. So, my correct option will be option number A, that is oxidative. Question number four, which dash are used to maintain a uniform dispersion of one liquid in another, such as oil in water? So, in, uh, uh, option A, curing agent, option B, emulsifiers, option C, antioxidants, option D, stabilizers. So, emulsifiers are used uh, to maintain a uniform dispersion like uh, dispersion of one liquid in another such as oil and water so my correct option will be option number b that is emulsifiers which question number five which of the following is or are emulsifiers option a lecithin option b cmc option c gums d all of the options so, and emulsifiers, actually emulsifiers kya hote? Emulsifiers are those substances that can stabilize emulsions. So, it leads to uh, emulsions actually kya hote? Ki, uh, since uh, in oil and water. So, uh, uh, it consists of water loving hydrophilic head and an oil loving hydrophobic tail. So, the correct example uh, is option number A that is lecithin. So, lecithin acts as an emulsifier. Question number six. Which of the following is an antioxidant? Option A, polyphosphates. Option B, sorbic acid. Option C, ascorbic acid. Option D, none of the options. So, the antioxidants. So, what are antioxidants actually? 
So antioxidants are naturally occurring chemicals in food that can serve as a defense against free radicals. So jo bhi free radicals hoge, antioxidants will act on them. So polyphosphates, sorbic acids, these are both food additives. Uh, but only sorbic acid is an antimicrobial agent that is used as a preservation in food and drinks to prevent the growth of molds, yeasts and fungi. So my correct option will be option number B that is ascorbic acid. Since polyphosphates and sorbic acids they both are food additives which are used for the preservations of the food whereas ascorbic acid this is used as an antioxidant. So my option is option number C. Question number 7. Which of the following inhibits yeast and mold growth but less effective against bacteria? So option A, sorbic acid. Option B, stearic acid. Option C, butyric acid. Option D, acetic acid. So which of the following inhibits yeast and molds? So sorbic acids, actually sorbic acids kya hai? Sorbic acids or its salts are like calcium, potassium, sodium salts. So these are effective, effective antimicrobial agents against yeast, moles as well as bacteria. But they are less effective against bacteria. So my correct option will be option number A. Whereas stearic acids kya hai? Stearic acid it is actually a saturated fatty acids with 18 carbon atoms. And it is commonly found in uh, vegetable as well as in plant uh, vegetable fats. Okay. So, and butyric acids. Ke, butyric acid it is a short chain uh, fatty acid with car four carbon atoms. And acetic acid. Acetic acid it is a weak organic acid with two carbon atoms and is the main component for the vinegar. So my correct option will be option number A that is acetic uh, sorbic acid. Next, question number 8. The highest level of test material that produce no adverse effect are caught. Option A, grass. Option B, noel. And OEL. Option C, ADI. Option D, none. So, the highest level of test materials that produce no adverse effect. So, the highest levels of test materials that produce no adverse effect is called no and OEL that is no observed adverse effect level. Whereas grass care, grass actually it stands for generally recognized as safe. Actually grass it is a designation used by the United States uh, for food and drug administration that is a FDA. So uh, actually yeah, uh, for uh, uh, yeah, recognize kya gaya tha to the food additives that are considered uh, safe for human consumptions. So, it level batata hai ye. Whereas ADI, ADI kya kar? ADI it stands for the acceptable da daily intake. So, ADI uh, it uh, is established by the joint uh, FAO and WHO expert committee for the food additives. That is JECFA. So, my correct option will be NOEL. That is no observed, uh, adver uh, no observed adverse effect level. That is option number B. Question number 9. So, the name the agent that help in maintaining the alkaline change during the food processing and maintain stability and flavor to uh, option A, anti-foaming agents, option B, anti-caking agents, option C, sequestering and option D, buffering agents. So, anti-caking agents, anti-foaming agents, kya hote? Anti-foaming agents jo are those substances that are used to reduce the foams that are caused by the proteins or the gases that may interface, that may interface with the pro, within the with the processing of the food products. Whereas anti-caking agents, kya hote? Ye anti-caking agents are those substances that are added to powdered or granulated materials to prevent the caking type actions that is uh, uh, the lump formations or to improve its flowability these anti-caking agents are used 
whereas sequestrants kya hote sequestrants are those compounds that binds to the metal ions such as calcium ho gaya or uh, magnesium iron in order to prevent in order to prevent them from oxidations or discoloration or rancidity whereas buffering agents kya hai buffering agents are those that help in maintaining the alkaline change during the food processing or maintain stability to the flavor uh, stability and flavor so my correct option will be option number d that is buffering agents actually buffering agents in look uh, they counter the acidic or the alkaline changes during the storage processings of foods uh, or uh, during or improves its flavor or giving stabilities of the food so my correct option will be option number d that is uh, number uh, buffering agent question number 10 dash is the emulsifier naturally present in soybean option a alginate option b lecithin option c isoflavon option d none so the lecithins actually are the natural uh, emulsifiers which are present in soybean so my correct option will be option number b uh, actually lecithin is a natural emulsifier these are found in eggs soybeans and other food items and it is used as a food additive in food to stabilize the the mixtures during processing uh, option a that is alginate alginate ka it is a natural uh, polysaccharide which is extracted from the uh, algaes or the bacterial cells uh, this is extracted from the brown algaes actually and other bacterial cell walls so uh, and the isoflavones as of actually isoflavones are the type of phytoestrogens okay which are a plant derived compound so that can mimic the effect of estrogen in the body so my correct option will be the amyl lecithins actually lecithins it is a natural uh, emulsifier which is present in soybean so my correct option will be option number b that is lecithin question number 11 what is the main function of oxidation of uh, antioxidants in food so option a to improve the taste of food to increase the shelf life of the food to prevent the oxidation of food or to reduce the fat content of food actually here two options will be correct as we have discussed earlier that the uh, antioxidants it is used in food that are used to prevent the oxidation of the food as well as to it increases the shelf life of the food so since it is asking the main function of the antioxidants so antioxidants actually they prevent the oxidations of the food so here the correct option will be option number c rather it also increases the shelf life of the food but the main function is to prevent the oxidation of the food that is option number c which 12 which food additive is used as sweetener in food products such as soft drinks and candies option a aspartame option b sucralose option c saccharins option d all of the options so which food additive is used as a sweetener in food products so aspartame sucralose saccharins these all are the artificial sweeteners that are commonly used in the food products as a sugar substitutes so ye aspartames jo hai aspartame actually ek methyl ester of a dye peptide derived aspartic acid and phenyl alanine uh, amino acids so it is aspartame is it is actually 200 times sweeter than the sucrose whereas sucralose sucralose it is a chlorinated um sucrose derived which is actually 600 times sweeter than the sucrose whereas the saccharins it is 300 to 400 times sweeter than the sucrose so here my correct option will be option number d that is all of the options so these all food additives are used as a sweetener in food products such as uh, soft drinks and candies question number 13 what is the main function of coloring in food option a to improve the taste of food option b to increase the shelf life of the food option c to enhance the appearance of food option d to reduce the fat content of the food 
सो फूड कलरिंग एक्चुअली क्या होती है फूड कलरिंग दीज आर यूज इन फूड प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर द वेराइटी ऑफ रीजन से फॉर द एपियरेंस इफ ड्यूरिंग प्रोसेसिंग द कलर देर इज अ लॉस इन कलर सो टू रिटेन दो कलर बैक और इफ इट इज एक्सपोज टू सनलाइट और एयर टेम्परेचर इन अदर एक्सट्रीम एनवायरमेंटल कंडीशन टू टू ब्रिंग दो कलर बैग्स एंड फॉर बेटर सो दैट ह्यूमन कैन कंज्यूम दो प्रोडक्ट्स और for good market values these food colors are actually used so this food color the, so the correct option will be the option number c that is to enhance the appearance of the food uh, next question number 14 that is bleaching of wheat flour is generally done by benzyl peroxide chlorine dioxide chlorine gas or none so bleaching of wheat flour actually wheat flours these are bleached using a variety of chemicals so this can include benzoyl peroxide or the chlorine gas uh, the uh, the process of bleaching of the uh, wheat flour it, it can uh, this is done so that to improve the its baking properties or to make the wheat look more whitish or to remove some of the nutrients from the wheat so the correct option will be uh, option number uh, c that is uh, chlorine gas next question number 15 what is the main function of the preservative in food so preservative ka main function kya hai uh, option a to improve the stability or uh, uh, to improve the taste of the food to increase the shelf life to enhance the color of the food or to reduce the fat content so preservatives actually uh, as iska name hi suggest kar raha hai ki preservative kya hai it is used for Uh, the preservations or it is helping to control uh, the food from uh, getting deteriorate or from the spoilage or contamination by other bacteria or yeast molds so these are done to increase the shelf life of the food product so my correct option will be option number b that is to increase the shelf life of the product question number 16 full form of ala ALA uh, option A alpha linoleic acid or B option that is alpha linoleic acid option C alpha long chain acid or none of the option so ALA actually it stands for alpha linoleic acid that is option number uh, A so alpha linoleic actually kya hai it is an omega 3 fatty acid that it is found in the plant based food products such as uh, flax seeds flax seeds or chia seeds so these are rich in omega 3 fatty acids that is alpha linoleic acid ala option number a question number 17 monosodium glutamate is used in food industry as option number a flavor enhancer option number b color enhancer option number c texture enhancer option number d in uh, appearance enhancer so monosodium glutamate kya the actually a white crystalline type of substance hai these are actually used in food industries for the uh, flavor enhancing the actually loke pass ek savory type of taste hota hai which intensifies the meaty or the savory flavor in the food product so monosodium glutamate msg that uh, it is a flavor enhancer that is option number a next number 18 flavoring compound of orange is uh, option a limonin option b shagol option c geraniol geraniol option d carbon so flavoring compound of orange so limonin actually option number a that limonin is the flavoring compound of the orange that uh, actually limonin it is a um, hydrocarbon the colorless liquid of hydrocarbon that it is found in the rind of the citric acids uh, such as it is mainly found in the citrus fruits like oranges lemons limes so my correct option will be option number a that is limonin question number 19 which among the following contains highest level of soluble fibers option a wheat option b pigeon pea option c barley option d rye so highest level of soluble fibers option number d that is rye it contains highest level of soluble 
fibers. Actually, it contains about 19.9% of total dietary fibers and in which it includes the soluble dietary fibers as well as insoluble dietary fibers. Uh, so, and this wheat, it, wheat, it contains uh, almost 13.5% and barley, it contains around 15.2% uh, of um, total soluble fibers. So, my correct option will be option number D, that is Ray. Next, question number 20. The set of various reaction sugar amines undergo resulting in browning is known as option number A, melanoids, option B, Millard reaction, option C, caramelization, and option D, none of the options. So, actually, Mallard reaction, uh, it is the correct option. So, Mallard reaction, it is a chemical reaction between amino acids and reducing sugars, which that causes the browning of the food, such as meats, in cookies, in beers. So, uh, the reactive, in this, uh, the reactive carbonyl uh, compounds, the, uh, actually the group of the sugar, it reacts with the nucleophilic amino group of the amine, uh, amino acid and it forms a complex structure uh, of poorly mixed characterized uh, molecules uh, that are responsible for the range of aromas or the flavors in the food. So my correct option will be option number B that is Mallard reaction. Next. Question number 21. The most commonly added artificial sweetener in low calorie carbonated beverage. Option A, aspartame, option B, sucralose, option C, saccharines, and option D, steviocytes. So, the artificial sweetener which is having a low calorie carbonated beverage, it is aspartame. That is option number A. Actually, aspartame, as we have earlier, earlier discussed, that it is a methyl ester of dipeptide derived from aspartic acid and phenylalanine amino acids. And it is 200 times sweeter than the sucrose so it is an artificial which is used in low calorie carbonated beverages uh, uh, and uh, in soft drinks in chewing gums candies desserts so my correct option will be option number a that is aspartame question number 22 which of the following enzyme digests protein into smaller polypeptides option a chymotrypsinogen option b Trip, uh, chymotrypsin, option C, trypsinogen and option D, trypsin. So, my correct option will be option number D, that it is trypsin. Okay, when this trypsin, it is, it is produced by the pancreas and when it is in the inactive form, it is called trypsinogen. And when this trypsinogen, it enters into the small, uh, small intestine through the common bile duct and it is converted into trypsin, that is active trypsin active form that is trypsin and this active trypsin will act with other two digestive uh, other two principles of digestive proteinases that is pepsins and chymotrypsins so my correct option will be trypsins which uh, the which is uh, the di enzymes which digest proteins into the smaller polypeptides so it is in the active form that is trypsin option number d Next, 23, what are used, the, what dash are the commonly used methods of inactivating polyphenols, phenolase. Option A, pressure treatment. Option B, pH treatment. Option D, heat treatment. Option D, all of the options. So, phenolase, actually phenolase, it is an enzyme that causes uh, the brownings in the fruits and vegetables. So, there are several methods for inactivating of the phenolase enzymes. So, this includes the uh, pH treatments, heat treatments, pressure treatments. Uh, actually, when we heat this for a short time, say for 60 degrees Celsius, it gets inactivate. It inactivates the enzymes. So, my correct option will be option number D. That is all of the options. Question number 24, uh, casein can be separated from milk by the addition of option A, renin, option B, xanthin oxidase, option C, lactase and option D, all of the options. Actually, a casein co when uh, actually jump milk make acid, hai, so it gets uh, separated into whey and whey protein and casein. 
अब अब इसमें एक एंजाइम भी यूज किया जाता है फॉर दिस कोगुलेशन और कर्डलिंग इफेक्ट सो दैट एंजाइम इज रेनिन सो रेनिन एंजाइम इज एक्चुअली यूज फॉर द कर्डलिंग एक्चुअली ये चीज प्रोडक्शन के लिए भी यूज किया जाता है सो रेनिन इज द एंजाइम दैट इज यूज टू क्वागुलेट मिल्क इन दंड इट इज इवन यूज इन द चीज प्रोडक्शन सो केजिन विच कैन बी सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम मिल्क बाय द एडिशन ऑफ रेनिन एंजाइम करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए दैट इज रेनिन क्वेश्चन नंबर 25 which of the following is used as flour treatment agent option a ascorbic acid option b cysteine option c potassium bromate and option d all of the options so this flour treatment agent uh, it is also known as a dough conditioner or a bread improver actually it is a chemical uh, which is uh, or ingredient which is added to the dough or the bread to improves or it strengthens the texture of the bread or the dough or in uh, or in another somewhat way so clear write down this and correct option for this and also comment down your score out of 25 and for and for more such videos you can subscribe our youtube channel and even